My ex and I hang out and have fun. Heavy petting. Three times, but she hesitates to sleep with me. Why? Well, I would say uh, because I get this question a lot and I've seen these situations, more than likely you're still pursuing somebody that dumped you. You want to get back together with her. She doesn't. So probably you're still pursuing. And so what you should be doing is following what's in seven principles to get an ex back. So because whoever did the dumping has got to fix the relationship. So if she dumped you, it's up to her to get another chance with you. It's not up to you to try to convince her to give you another chance. It's always the weak position, and most of the time it doesn't work anyways. And so what you want is, remember, the strongest negotiating position is being able to walk away and mean it. And so if you've been friend-zoned or you've been dumped and you still want sex and romance – then you don't keep calling and texting and pursuing somebody and trying to change their mind. Your attitude should be, hey, you know, I, I'm not interested in being in friend zone or I'm not interested in just being friends. Uh, you know, I'm just interested in something romantic. So if you're not interested in that, then call me if you change your mind. Otherwise, I wish you all the best. And then you walk away and you never look back. And if she ever reaches out after that, and typically you get a, hey, how are you? How you been? I saw a movie the other night, and this guy had this blue shirt on. It's just like that one I got you for your birthday. Remember that? And we had so much fun on that trip or something like that. And you just assume she wants to see you, and you make a date at your place in the evening to make dinner together. Hang out, have fun, hook up. You don't go to lunch. You don't meet her out. You don't go pick her up because, again, she's trying to earn another chance with you, not the other way around. That should be the mindset. And the fact that he's even asking this question in the first place tells me his mindset is, i got to get her attention. How do I get her to like me again? How do I get another chance with her? How do I get her back? Instead of being selective and skeptical and going, is it a good idea to get back together with her again? What would have to change in order for me to want to give her another chance? And because women will appreciate it and you way more if they have to work to get you back that's why radio silence and going no contact means that unless she reaches out you'll never speak again as long as you live that's what no contact means it's not a technique or a temporary strategy it's just both of you she's only interested in something platonic you want something romantic so a deal a mutually beneficial deal is not available and so therefore you're not interested in that and you're not going to settle for friend zone or blue balls or no sex and romance. So that's why you leave and you tell her to get in touch if she changes her mind. And then if she does reach out after that, typically they're not going to say, hey, I changed my mind. Let's get back together. They're just going to be like, hey. And then you have to look at it as just because your job in the courtship, like I talk about in the 3% Man, is just create an opportunity for sex to happen. Hang out, have fun, and hook up. That's it. It's not about getting back together or locking her down or any of that. It has to be her idea. And she's got to do 100% of the calling, texting, and pursuing from that point forward and then you just make dates she's got to be the one to bring up getting back together being exclusive and all those things because again she blew it up she has to fix it she blew it up she has to earn another chance with you not the other way around you have to let her come to you and if you're trying to chase after her and make dates that's why you're getting together with her and maybe get a little kissy poo but she won't sleep with you also maybe you don't know the seduction process it's in three percent man the two steps forward one step back when you encounter resistance so that would be important but more than likely if i was a betting man just because i've been doing this almost 20 years and i've seen this question a lot and you know it's a big reason why a lot of guys come to me is that he's trying to get her back she dumped him and he's pursuing her when in reality he should be doing nothing and just making dates in the evening at his place to make dinner together just like seven principles get an expect says I, I don't, I personally think, I feel like uh, you shouldn't be hanging out with the ex. Like, if you literally just broke up, you need time to heal and time to, you know. Well, he probably doesn't want to be broken up. She dumped him because he did a lot of unattractive behavior. Maybe he was eating boogers like that one boyfriend <laughs> that you had that you dumped because he ate his boogers and did other unattractive things. In other words, he displayed too much unattractive behavior to the point where it it's, made her pussy dryer in a bucket of sand and she wasn't down. Yeah, and then when you um, also the guys like texting all the time, and then 
I feel like a lot of times, sometimes guys get butthurt over, like, when girls, like, oh, like, they, you start talking again or something like that. And you're like, oh, well, I can't. I'm busy. They get all butthurt. Well, I was going to ask you to go back out, but I guess I'm not now. You are just too busy. Like. Yeah, that's unattractive behavior right there. See, in those cases, none of those, nothing changed with those guys. They're still the same butthurt man babies. And they're right. still displaying the same unattractive behavior. Instead of just being like having a non-attached attitude, because as Teek Nhat Hanh said, you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. And so when you get butt hurt, it makes her feel like she's not free. And it creates friction and not the good ta- kind between you and her to the point where she wants to avoid you instead of, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I judged him too harshly. Maybe I should give him another chance. Well, it's a, like, that's an aggressive way of treating someone, too. You're just going to be aggressive about it. Like, now she definitely doesn't want to talk to you because now you just made her feel like you're just, like, an angry, crazy person. A jack-in-the-box. <laughs> yeah, it's so like, you, if I can't have you, nobody can. That's it. It screams insecurity. Yeah. Like, 110%. It's like, what the heck? Yeah, you got to be non-attached, easygoing, easy to get along with. You got to give women the opportunity to follow through in the plans they make with you or to flake out and disappear from your life forever. Don't chase. Don't try to convince somebody to be with you. Never try to keep somebody who doesn't want to keep you. That's why if you're trying to get an ex back and you got dumped, you have to let them do the pursuing because they got to fix it. They're the one that pushed you away. 